my name is Terry Cock, and I'm from the Department of Integrative Biology. Today I'm going to talk to you about bumblebees in Oklahoma. In Oklahoma, we historically have about 10 species of bumblebees uh, that are native to the state. You'll typically find about four or five, though, in the wild recently as the others are critically endangered or declining rapidly. Here today we have two female bumblebees. Um, they are both of the same species. They are uh, the American bumblebee. Uh, you can tell that they are female bees because they have pollen baskets on the side of them. Those are known as cobricular baskets. And any female bumblebee will have pollen matted on the side of their legs that they are collecting to take back to the nest. Bumblebees typically emerge in March and April. The emerging queens are coming from overwintering and they will build their own nest typically in rotted out wood, um, leaf litter. You'll find them in your yard, usually in burrows as they typically are underground. You will not find large nests like you do honeybees inside of trees. Um, they'll mostly be on the ground nesting. They do form a colony of about anywhere from 20 to 400 individuals with the most common size kind of around 100 uh, working bees. The bees typically live two to six weeks and they will have a life cycle from about March, the whole colony as a whole, from March until about September, October here in Oklahoma. Once they are um, into the later in the year, queens will lay eggs that have other female bees that can reproduce. These female bees will go off and find their own nest to overwinter in. So if you see a large bee in your yard, more than likely it could be a carpenter bee or a bumblebee. The difference would be that a carpenter bee is shiny on its end, whereas a bumblebee is fuzzy. Overall, neither carpenter bees nor bumblebees or any other bee in your yard is particularly dangerous, as if you disturb them, they will protect their nest, but they are crit critical pollinators for the native plants in Oklahoma and they are all declining, so if you do find bumblebees, make sure to take care of them and help them by planting native plants. We hope you enjoyed this video. It's part of our Oklahoma Gardening YouTube channel. You can also find even more videos on our OK Gardening Classics YouTube channel. And join us on social media for great gardening tips, photos, and discussion.